In this video, I'll show you how to use the scanner of your Canon PIXMA TS3420. I'll show you how to scan using simply the printer itself, how to scan using your phone, and how to scan using your computer in case you want uh, the file to go directly in your computer and to use it in emails or to store it or to do whatever you want. So let's start with the easiest uh, method of these by scanning directly using just the printer alone. So to do this, make sure that you actually have some printer paper inserted in the feeder over here because it will use it to, um, to print whatever you just scanned. Lift the scan lid. Place your paper facing down. And make sure to align this corner with the corner of the scanner over here. There should be a small arrow pointing there. So just place it like this by pushing it. Then you can close this lid. And now you have two choices. Do you want to scan this in color or in black and white only? Here you have the two options. If you want black and white, press this button. If you want color, press this green button. In my case, I just wanted black and white. So just have to press once. And by the way, before pressing, make sure that this paper tray is fully extended to receive the paper like this. Press once the button and now you have to wait. It will start by scanning. Take the paper and very quickly we have our page over here. And if we compare it with the original one, it's perfect. It's just black and white because this is what I decided. Now let's see how to scan using your phone. Before starting, do the same thing. Place your sheet of paper here, align with the small arrow and close the lid. Take your phone, it could be an Apple device, like any iPhones or an Android, like the one I'm having in my hand right now. It doesn't matter. So the first thing you need to do is to download the Canon Print app. This is available on the Play Store and also on the App Store. It should look like this, Canon Print Inkjet slash Selfie app from Canon Inc. Download it and then open the app. Next step is to connect the printer, make sure that it's turned on. And then on the bottom here, you're gonna click on whatever printer it is. If you don't see anything, no problem, click on the top left corner, there's a small icon of a printer, tap on it. And here it will tell you to register a printer. You're going to go down, tap on register printer, and here you're going to have a list of all the printer the app found that are around. I'm lucky my printer is over here, TS3400 series. It's a 3420 in my case, but it's the absolute same thing. If you see it, you just have to tap on it. You'll get this message, set up Wi-Fi for the following printer, click OK. Okay, it will tell you that you will be connected to this Wi-Fi network. Press yes if you agree. And then you should see appearing in the list here. Tap on it. And you're done. It may ask you the password of your Wi-Fi network. You just have to enter it and press continue or OK. And then you'll have the same screen, um, same screen as I, you see right now. In my case, I already did it in the past, so it didn't ask me the password a second time. Then press close. Okay, so once you connected your printer and you see here TS3400 series, it means it's connected. To scan, you're gonna press this scan button over here. And then you're gonna confirm if these are the settings you want. By the way, you just saw if you want to change them, just press change settings and you can edit any of these. So if you don't want it to be in color, well, you can select grayscale and this will be black and white. So once you confirm that this is uh, the settings you want, well, go back and then you just have to press the scan button over here. The printer will start working, you can hear it, it will scan. 
So this is the page that we just scanned. And we have two choices right now. If you're just scanning one page and you're done, you're going to press the exit button. But if, let's say, it's a long document with multiple pages, remove this page. And place the second page of the document on the scanner. Align it. Close. Take the app and press scan. It will now scan the second page. And you can do this as many times as you want. If you have a 10 page document, you just have, you just have to keep pressing the scan button and put a new page in the scanner. Once you're done, press exit and the file will be saved. You have a confirmation, press OK and you're done. You can now share this document by pressing this small icon over here on the top and there's many options really. <laughs> you can share it via Bluetooth Drive, an email or many other options. You can also find the document that you just scan on your phone by going in the pictures and you should find it over there. Now let me show you how to scan using a PC computer. So you need to do the same thing, load the paper over here in the scanner, close the lid. On your PC you need to install the Canon driver and software. Go on the Canon site where we'll be able to download a software to connect both of these. I'll put a link in the description where you can go directly in the page I'm showing you because uh, it's quite long to type this manually. Once you're on this page, you're going to tap on B, connect to a computer or smartphone. Then it will ask you to download the Canon software. Simply press the download orange button and it will start downloading the file on your computer. Then you're going to open the file that we just downloaded. Then you're going to press yes. It will install the software. Once it opens, you're going to click on start setup. Then next. Next. And now you just have to let it do its thing. It should take just a few seconds. It will download the last driver and software that you need to make this work. Then you'll have this screen. You need to tap on yes, then agree. And at this point, just make sure that your printer has been previously turned on. And here it will ask you if you want to connect the printer to your home wireless network or your business or office wireless, wireless network, which is the same as your PC is connected. Tap on yes if it's your wireless network appearing over here. This is mine. This step may take a few seconds or even a minute while the printer is connecting to internet. And at the end, you should have this screen with the green check mark. This means that the printer is now officially connected to the internet of your home or office. Then press next. And now it will take a few seconds again to install drivers that will make the Canon printer work with your uh, specific PC computer. You have here a small estimate telling you how much time it will take. In my case, it's two minutes. Maybe yours is faster if you have a faster computer. The screen will change. And again, you just have to wait while this spinner is going on. And again, we'll have this confirmation that you are now able to print from your computer with a green check mark. This is great. I'm going to press the next button. 
and we are finally done. You can continue online here to visit the Canon website, but you really don't need to do this. Okay, once we're done installing this, you're going to go in the start menu and over here in all the apps that you have installed, you should see Canon Utilities with a small new symbol since we just installed it. Click on it, go down and open IG Scan Utility. This will open. Now, depending what you want to scan, in my case, it's a document. I'll select document. If it's a picture, you can select picture. You can also just select auto and it will decide by itself, but I prefer selecting myself. So I select document and it will start scanning. Here it will tell me scan completed. Click exit to end. To continue scanning, if you have multiple pages on your document, you just have to remove this page, put a new one on the scanner and click scan and you can scan it again many times, many different pages. So for my case, I just want to scan one page, so I'll click exit and it will show me whatever it scanned. This is the document. It looks very sharp. It's perfect. To know where the scan went on your computer because it's saved on your computer you need to click on the settings button here in the main menu and here depending what kind of document what kind of button you press in my case it was document scan i'll click on document scan and here it will tell me where the file got saved so in my case in it's in documents but you can change it you just have to click on documents click add and here you can add any other folder on your computer where you prefer the files to be saved in once you selected it you can click ok and it will save in that specific document so this is how you scan documents using your canon ts3420 in multiple ways if you liked this video if you found it useful please leave a comment down below i'm trying to read them all also leave a like and subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate that.